Tell me a story from the old country, Grandma. We want to hear a story from the Is that old video? country. I don't know. It's amazing those phones can take video. When now. Grandpa came over here and, and on Ellis Island and all the immigrants, you know, were landing there, they were riding down. They'd go and the woman would ask their name and their age and all that. They got everything wrong. They asked Grandpa, what's your name? He said, Salvatore. He says, too hard to spell. Put down Sam. That's how my dad, my dad went all, the, all his life with Sam. That wasn't his real name. It was Salvatore. Hmm. Tell about when Aunt Tony's laid on the railroad tracks. Oh, that was Aunt Capello. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Capello. They were the funniest couple you ever met. My grandmother's sister married this guy named Tony. Well, he used to go first with her younger sister, and she never yeah. talked to her after they got married because she says, you stole my sweetheart away from me. <laughs> and she says, he didn't like you in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, they, they were always quibbling about, you know, that she, but Aunt Anne had come out here and she married another guy, Capello. My uncle was his, their last name was Capello, and he, they had two sons. Never had a day that they didn't fight like heck all the time. One time they had such a big fight, he says, "I'm going to end it all." He ran. He lived two blocks from the railroad tracks. He ran and he lays on the tracks and he says, "Come on, kill me!" And we were all standing there laughing until we heard until we heard a train coming. <laughs> When we heard the train, we got scared, and uh, we all jumped up and says, Uncle Paul, the train's coming. That's what I want. That's what I want. <laughs> it took about three men to grab him and pull him away, or he'd have been killed, really. He wouldn't move for that. Well, a lot of bystanders would have been screaming, Yeah, oh, you just lay there, buddy. I'm tell us. You, you we were there. all scared to death. <laughs> hey, Grandma, tell us about our mafia Italian side. Uh, the Sicilian side. Well... That's a big lie about all the Sicilians <laughs> being mafia. mafia. They were a lot of mafia, but not the whole country. People thought that anybody... When Uncle Joe was going to marry Aunt Betty, her girlfriend came up and she says, Are you marrying an Italian? And he says, yeah, why? Well, she says, they're all in the mafia. You'll be in danger all the time. And she says, I, and Joe says, says, I'm not in the mafia. And they... they Make everybody think that if you're Italian, yeah, well, you're in the mafia. You had some family, but there in were the a mafia. lot. Huh? You had some family in the mafia. Oh yeah, I'm sure there would be. Well, what about that one what person about, that disappeared? I don't want to say that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> about a friend? Who? Well, I, I don't. The mafia is gone, you don't have Grandma. To say a, a last name. Yeah, but they're not going to come get you. Gets back to from me. where? <laughs> <laughs> they might come after her. Well, she, that's when you know that your family's in the mafia. Yeah, when they won't talk on the video. <laughs> her, her, uh, her son, uh, you know, said that. And whose son? I don't well, know. Well, you know, Marie, being connected to Sicily and Kansas City, you are oh, like a lot totally. Of, a lot of people Somewhere. come from Sicily what, and they what's ended the thing that up went to in Mexico? Kansas City. Who ended it's up like in total. Mexico? What? Who ended up in Mexico that ran away from Kansas City and he had to live, <laughs> live in Mexico? Oh, from, you mean Anthony? Anthony. 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 He was another the... one. You never knew what he was getting mixed up with. He got, he got into so much debt when he was in Kansas City uh, that he had to get over here to California and sneak over here. I don't know how he did it because everybody was after him. And he, he went to Mexico where they, right. he said he'd right. be safe. Did they have a hit he out on there. him? They were going to try to kill him? And when he got out of there, he had a whole apartment, beautiful apartment full of nice furniture. Mm -hmm. Well, he was in jail. They came in and they cleaned him out. And there, he couldn't arrest him or anything. He was in jail himself and he was in Mexico to get away. He lived out here about 10, 15 years until 
most of them died out that were after him. Yeah. And he oh, he, he, he was able to go back, but they told him when he left, if we ever find you and and you come back here, you'll be a dead man. Well, did your father ever have to pay for protection of having land Never. in Sicily? My dad did, did told With them, all those families you do what you want. I, I'm country. not in any anything crooked. My dad was so honest that if somebody came in the store and he had to make change and maybe he'd give them less or something, boy, he couldn't he couldn't wait till they came back so he could give them the they different. Back, yeah. He was and he would never cheat. He said he'd never cheat the government because he didn't want to go to jail. He, he, Italian people were looked down on at one well, time just about as bad as some of the well, yeah, the black people or whoever sure. it was. There there were people that were really thought that the Italian people were all well, horrible. So they thought the Irish and the Scottish and the Polish and the Jews and a lot of people have been in trouble. But some people that are accusing others for being so horrible, they're worse themselves. I mean, they don't this think they are, but they, the they're pretty bad, flip? too. Yeah. What's the matter? Tron. Oh. But, you know, it's all, a lot of them just make up these stories because they figure, oh, he's Italian, he's got to be in the mafia. Right, automatically. And they automatically put him in the mafia, where they, they really weren't. There were a lot of good Italian people came over here. They didn't have to all be gangsters. <laughs> but... If, if you were jailed in those days, put in jail for stealing, for doing anything, and you happen to be Italian, they throw the book at you. Yeah. You didn't have a chance. In other words, I think some of the Italian people were even better than the others. They were afraid of being caught doing something that they shouldn't be. Yeah. But I mean, there were a lot of good Italian people. Betty's friend thought that if Betty married my brother Joe, she'd be in the mafia. She says, oh, you're not making them, marrying an Italian. How did Mistletoe ever get the reputation that she's supposed to kiss But I know a lot of stories, you know, if I sit and think about it, that were funny. Just like Grandpa when he had the store.